Hello Aquarius and welcome to your Coffee Cup reading for the week ahead of February 12th to the 18th. And because this is the week of love, Valentine's week, I am going to, after the reading, pull some love uh, focus cards. So that will be done after the reading. So let's get into this. Oops. Okay, some of you are see blessings from the universe. Um, really good um, support from somebody too. You may even hear some good news. This could be even an invitation. I do see like a relative or someone close to you can be on your mind uh, thinking about them and can be someone you haven't talked to in a while um, or haven't seen in a while. And you're going to be wanting to keep in touch more with uh, people. Yeah, catching up with some correspondences, emails, things like that, even calls. So I'm seeing that energy. Now, you're scattered or a little bit distracted um, easily this week, too. So watch that energy. But you're getting more organized and on top of things. Okay, but that if you're not, um, getting more organized and being on top of things is very important. Yeah, you got some scattered energy to deal with this week. Uh, Daphne tells me to hold, um, to tell you here to hold on to your goals and follow through, okay? And keep your thoughts positive. It's got a little bit of yellow energy here. Not negative. Keep your thoughts positive. Um, it is a need for balance. Um, now a small little wish could be fulfilled here. That's good. Also, there's a sense of needing to heal, and healing is needed, okay? You know, being reunited, or there's a renewal of love. So it's a general reading here, so it depends. It's a, you know, this is a week that really starts some new beginnings. Yeah, there is new beginnings coming through. Now, some of you could be maybe signing a document or a settlement, Okay, this could be legal. I mean, I can give you many examples. It could be, you know, a divorce settlement. It could be some something like that is possible. Um, yeah, it can be a legal issue. You need to take care of, though. That's one thing that comes through here. For good or for bad. I don't know if it's in your favor or not. It is unclear. It's a general reading. And it's not showing clear. So um, I can't tell you that. Uh, you're going to be getting through some obstacles. You are very strong to get through things this week. Definitely someone from your past. I'm pretty much seeing that again. Yeah, someone from your past could be in focus. I am seeing that um, you're recentering yourself more and more. You have a lot of manifesting energy too, so... Um, seeing that, but it could be definitely manifesting to be making plans for the future. Um, but this is um, making plans for the future, though much is in the air right now, okay? Don't judge a situation or anyone this week, too. There can be a little bit of delays to some plans, and there can be someone who interferes with something or sticking their nose in your business. Okay, so I'm seeing that for some, there's some kind of form of separation. You're separating from something too. Okay, so let's see what's on the plate. Okay, so there is a choice to make. And this could be connected to finance, a financial choice too. For some, you could be this could be a partnership or a deal too that's coming through here. Okay, so you're a little bit caution cautious um there is a little bit of jealousy or some kind of resentment that's showing up here okay making some decisions here too or some choices and you are a little bit more to yourself too okay i'm seeing that now partnerships or relationships are definitely coming into focus here and can be actually um <clears throat> a person or a concept that's unclear so it's a person or a concept and the person you are will be defined through this, okay? It'll be you'll be defined, shaped, or influenced by it. Okay. All right, so that's 
in the cup. Let's, um, I'm going to pull a card for the singles and then one for the couples and one of each. And then I will give an overall for Aquarius um, love, period. So for the singles, nine of diamonds. Okay, so when you get the nine of diamonds for the singles out there, or just say you're lightly meeting someone, you have someone in mind, it does talk about this is definitely an excellent omen for love, okay? Uh, love can be raised to new heights by intimacy and joy, okay? I like that. If you're just looking for love, this card tells you that someone new who has what it takes to be a meaningful, deep love could be headed your way, okay, very soon. So that's good. It's wrapping up some kind of cycle, okay? So I really do like that. And let's see what card you got here. Wedding. Interesting. This situation involves marriage. Okay, so this could be an indication for some. It could be an indication eventually you meet someone and it will lead to a wedding. Uh, maybe you will meet someone through a wedding, but a wedding is coming out very significantly, okay? This situation involves marriage. So whatever, however that's going to work out for you, we'll look at it overall too. And for the couples, okay, you got the Ace of Spades. Okay, so with the Ace of Spades, this is like, um, in this deck, it's like an ending, okay? It's like um, the Death card almost, but this does indicate sometimes legal stuff. Um, the Ace of Spades really is telling me here, especially with couples, you're ready to start something new, okay? Something in the relationship you will put a stop to. It does talk about speak your mind, okay? If something is like hurting you or hurtful or bad for you, um, and you do speak up and things may end, for example, uh, you really haven't lost, okay? It tells you right here, you're just being guided to another relationship that will be better for you or whatever it is, okay? But it does indicate, tell the truth, speak your truth and um, stand up and speak your mind. So that's one thing that's showing up here. Or, you know, we could look at another way where you make some kind of agreement, you know, but that's really what it indicates here. And let's see what the other card has to say. Love yourself first. Okay. So your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So this is a great indicator, very similar to what I'm saying here, is to definitely love yourself first. Speak your truth, stand up for yourself. Okay, when we're looking at this overall, um, love can be a little bit maybe confusing, but it's not boring. That's one thing definitely we're not seeing here. Wrapping up a cycle, starting a new one, definitely. Try to resist any instinct to fight, to gain any understanding or in general, period. Um, things will become more clearer anyway, okay? Because we're seeing that there. All right, that's very important. Um, you know, your personal energy is pretty much fantastic and your powers of attraction is amplified, with these two cards here too. It's all about determining what you want and what you don't want in the present and the future, okay? A big discovery of your heart is coming through here with everything, okay? Well, um, first of all, I wanna wish a happy birthday to all the Aquarius that have a birthday this week, which is the week of February 12th to the 18th. I hope you have a wonderful birthday. To everyone else, um, Happy Valentine's Day. This is the week of love. I do still have a monthly discounted special focus on love going on till the end of February. If you would like to book a um, love focus reading or any reading, the link to my website is below this video. Anyway, I hope you have a wonderful week and I'll catch you back next week for your next coffee cup reading. Until then, all the best and bye for now.